We had been hoping to cover the Privileges Committee Partygate report at some point this week, but it seems to have remained plagued with delays, everything from late submissions to alleged printing problems. But another chapter of this drama, this afternoon, the news emerged from the news website Guido Fawkes that Sir Bernard Jenkin, the Conservative MP who sits on the Privileges Committee and is chairman of the Liaison Committee, may well have attended a Parliament drinks party during lockdown. Whilst he denies the allegation, in a discussion with Guido, he said um, that uh, he didn't recall. Meanwhile, Boris Johnson has stepped in and stated, if this is true, it is outrageous and a total contempt of Parliament for calling on the member to resign. And he has now written uh, to Harriet Harman to ask her for her view on these stories about Sir Bernard. So who better to have with me to discuss this than the founder of Guido Fawkes, Mr Paul Staines. Um, Paul, this is quite a story. Can it really be true? Are you certain that Sir Bernard Jenkin was, in fact, at a party with drinks during a period of lockdown when that was not allowed? I am certain there was a party. I have a source. And some of this, let's go into the background of how we got this story. A reader contacted us last night because he was outraged that uh, Bernard Jenkins was being all pious when he told me uh, he knew that Bernard Jenkins had been drinking at a lockdown party. So I went through the details of his story with him. Uh, I, I found it credible, and I've dealt with a lot of people in these situations before. Some of the uh, dates checked out. The 8th of December is Anne Jenkins' uh, birthday. I called up Eleanor Lang, who hosted the party, and asked her, did she have an event? She conceded she had an event, which she described as a business meeting. And we talked to some detail about it, and you can see the discussion we had on our website. But uh, I asked her specifically, did this business meeting have drinks? And she said she couldn't recall. Now, I think that given my source says it was Anne Jenkins' birthday party hosted by Eleanor Lang, and if the date checks out, that is Anne Jenkins' birthday, that perhaps it all hangs together. Now, the reason I think it's credible is because Bernard Jenkins hasn't denied it, nor has Eleanor Lang, nor has any of the other MPs we named. Everyone's gone very quiet, well, apart from Boris, who is okay. raging. But do we know that Anne Jenkins was there? Because obviously, as the chairman of the Liaison Committee and a deputy speaker, um, Dame Eleanor and Sir Bernard would have had perfectly routine meetings that would have been allowable under the rules. It, it may be harder to see why um, Baroness Jenkin would have been there. Uh, I, well, apart from that, it was her birthday. Um, there were WhatsApps invites to drinks that went out to people. Uh, I'm convinced of that. Have you seen the WhatsApps? I have been read the WhatsApp. OK. Because do you think this affects the inquiry? Does it matter if Bernard has been at a lockdown breaking party or was at one when the pointed issue of the Privileges Committee is whether Boris Johnson misled Parliament? Well, you're a better judge of uh, parliamentary procedure than I am. But what it does highlight is the sheer hypocrisy of the situation. Uh, there was a birthday cake here. If we go back to what this is all boils down to, it goes back to a birthday cake for Boris. I think that we have an analogous situation where there was a birthday cake at a drinks party in Parliament with uh, a member of the very committee that found Boris guilty over this issue, essentially this issue. Well, thank you very much, Paul. I think everyone be glued to your website, to Guido Fawkes' website, to see if there are any more um, revelations coming. We'll definitely have more on this tomorrow.